So, you understand the importance of brotherhood and having a male friend, but you just can't seem to find anybody. <laughs> you want somebody who you can share PRs <laughs> and gym pics or share tips about how to grow shoulders or their thoughts on a certain thing, but you don't have this kind of person. Someone who you can ask for genuine advice without feeling ridiculed or outcasted. But many people say that they have friends, but they don't really have friends real deep friends who they feel like they can share anything with and if you already have this kind of relationship that's great but the thing is for the vast majority of us and including me we feel that we feel this loneliness that's only felt with young men on self-improvement because we're walking this journey and we want to walk it with someone else we want to bring as many people it's this tribal tribal instinct that we want to gather as many people we want we can on this journey and go together but the thing is, in this modern world, there's such a big gap between the top tier people and the low degenerates that people like us who are in the middle and working our way up can feel that we don't have anyone who can share progress with and can't, find, can't seem to find people who we can relate to and share these deep things that we desire. So how do we find people like this and stop feeling so lonely? So this first thing might sound harsh or untrue, but you really have to think about it. Are you deserving of this brother, this person to be in your life? And what I mean by this is that when we think of a friend who we can relate to and an almost brother-like person, we want to be on the same level. We want to be able to like have this polarity, but also be able to relate with each other enough to help. So for it, what I'm saying is, if you're like slacking and you don't try as hard in the gym, how can you expect to meet or become friends with someone who does actually take it seriously? Because yeah, sure, you might be become friends with them, but not very good ones. He's probably going to think of himself as higher than you unconsciously. And this balance of friendship isn't going to hold. So you really have to ask yourself, are you setting your standards too high? Are you looking for unreasonable people who are outside of your range? Because although it's true that th this league system like that's popularized by the dating isn't true, it's, there is some fact in the aspect that you're going to attract people who are similar to you and in this self-improvement niche, it's going to be people that are around the same level as you. So you really need to look at yourself and think whether this person, this type of pe person that you want to attract is near the same level as you. And the second one is social skills, because say you found this person and you guys are really compatible, but your social skills are lacking. You don't know how to act or maintain friends with them because being likable and having good social skills is so important. And I've noticed this by in my school especially because there's some people who are really academically smart and you'll know like people around you who are really smart like academically but their social skills like are like so bad so these people you'll, you'll notice that they don't have like actual friends because social skills and being like was is so important more than you realize how can you expect our friends when you're always criticizing them or you're saying any remark that comes to your head like you find that as much as you want to become close to them and be friends with them it's hard to be friends with this kind of person so then flip that around that could be you you may think that you have good social skills but everyone you're that guy that people talk about behind their backs so what you need to do is really just sit down and think am i friend worthy if i was another person I met them would I want to be friends and of course you can go and learn more about social skills which I recommend you do and I'm going to post a video later about how to win friends and influence people which is a book that I would recommend everyone read but really the point of this is saying that social skills shouldn't be overlooked and you really have to think that are you friend worthy yourself and the third one is just clarity so what this means is that you really have to visualize in your mind who this kind of friend is so like it might sound cringe but literally everything from how they look their interests and everything because if you have this vague mind of oh someone who goes to the gym sometimes and i can talk to like that's great but 
loads of people fall into that category and you really have to narrow it down so that you do find that person that's right for you and you don't confuse yourself so for example like for me i'd probably say someone who's actively trying to improve their health by going to the gym uh someone who has good habits such as reading meditation but also like then they're easy they're a good listener and they're easy to talk to and i'd say also someone who respects their parents but and also has is likable has a lot of friends and someone you can have deep conversations with without like them taking the piss so just having this clear image of who you want to be in your life who you want to be friends with can easily make it so that this you're you're obsessing over this almost and your brain knows that this is the kind of person to look out for and unconsciously by making this kind of person that you want to be around in your head you're going to try you're going to force yourself to mold into that kind of person as well so it's a really a win-win situation